Hi, today I have a question for you. What is the probability that if a couple has four children that they will have two boys and two girls in any order? So, in order to solve this problem, we have to uh, use a formula. I can give you this formula right away. It's very easy and you would be able to solve just in a few seconds and apply the same formula for many other similar problems. Uh, but uh, in order for your uh, deep understanding, I will uh, spend extra few minutes to explain you uh, how everything is works and logics behind uh, all these formulas. So, uh, uh, what is the different ways how we can have four uh, children? And this would be, we may have boy, boy, boy boy so all four children can be boys also we may have boy 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 and girl we also may have boy boy and girl girl and boy girl 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 and we also may have all four children to be girls so this is uh, four different ways and uh, for example here for uh, all four children to be boys there is only one way how this may happen so this is only one way for um, for example, for all four girls, there is also one way. But if we, uh, for example, take uh, the second line, three boys and one girl, uh, there can be different ways how this might happen. For example, we may have boy, 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 and girl. We may also have boy boy, girl, and boy again. And uh, we may also have a boy, a girl, and boy, boy, and girl and three boys in a row. So there is four different combination how we may have three boys and one girl. So this is four different combinations. And uh, and for example how many combinations we may have if we have two boys and two girls. We may have boy, boy and girl, girl. We may also have girl, girl, and boy, boy. We may also have girl, girl, and boy, boy. We may also have boy, boy, and girl, girl. And we may also have girl, girl, and boy, boy, and the last combination would be boy, boy, and girl, girl. So as you see, all these combinations are different, and this time we have uh, six different combinations, so there is more combinations to have two boys and two girls than three boys and one girl. So here is a six different combinations. So this is going to be uh, four here, uh, four combinations here, and six combinations here, and um, one boy and three girls would be the same number of combinations like three boys and one girl that we calculated here. So this line would be the same.
just number boys and girls would be different, but number of combinations would be the same. So we can put 4 here also. So we have one combination for all four children to be boys, four combinations for three boys and one girl, six combinations for two boys, two girls, four combinations for one boy and three girls, and only one combination how we can get four girls. So now we can easily solve uh, our problem. We just need to use the formula that is we take uh, this uh, variable and now we can uh, use it in formula that is 6 multiplied by 1 half raised 4 and 4 is the number of the children and this gives us 0, 3, 7, 5. This is going to be our answer and you also uh, may check uh, this answer by calculating uh, combinations for for example all four boys here this is going to be one number of combinations that is going to be variable and one over two raised four and this gives us zero zero six two five and then uh, we have to calculate for this line also three boys and one girl give us four different combinations so once again we have one half raised four and this is going to be zero two five so um, for this we already solve it and one boy and three girls would be uh, the same combinations number of combinations is four so this is going to be four once again multiplied by one half raised four and this is zero twenty five and the last combination is one multiplied by one half raised four and this is zero zero six two five and uh, now we can uh, add all these numbers and we are going to get one or we also can uh, transfer all these numbers to the percentages everything we have to do we just have to move uh, this point to decimal points uh, to decimal places to the right and we are going to get here uh, 6.25 for the first line for the second line this is going to be 37.5 here 25 25 and once again 625 and if we add all these answers we are going to get 100 percent because everything here would be percentages so now you know how to calculate um, probability not only for um, having two boys and two girls but any of the uh, combinations uh, whether it's going to be all four boys or all four uh, girls two boys two girls or three girls and one boy or uh, three boys and one girl so thank you for your attention uh, please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day that's all for today here is uh, our uh, answer and here is a formula so this is variable number you know how to find it this is uh, chances for the child to be of the specific gender that is one half and this is number of the children 
So now you can use this formula and you can just change a variable number and number of children and you can apply this formula for many other um, problems. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.